All right, in this video, we're looking at polynomials. We'll look at defining them, add, subtract, multiply. Uh, no, no dividing, but uh, multiplying. So we're going to identify parts of them, and then we'll do operations. So to begin with, when you look at a polynomial, it's uh, an expression that involves x's. Uh, one of the important things with them, and we'll see it later when we uh, graph polynomials, is that you need to identify what type of polynomial it is. Typically, when we have a polynomial like this one, for example, I've got x's in it and I have a y in it, so there's a different kind of relationship. But I want to write this in terms of descending degree because the highest degree term of the polynomial basically dictates what kind of graph or what kind of polynomial that is. So this one is written in the wrong order. I've gone and put it now in the proper order. So uh, you'll notice that this one has an x to the 5. And so that, the 5, indicates that this whole polynomial has a degree of 5. Now, when you're looking at a polynomial, the terms of a polynomial are separated by either addition or subtraction signs. So this here is a term. This is a term. Notice I'm including the sign in front of the number or letter as part of that term. So this one would be four terms. The highest degree would be uh, five. I want to try and identify this one. What uh, the highest degree and how many terms and what are they? Maybe press pause, try it, write, write it out in the proper order, and then press play. Okay, so this one properly should be written like this, plus an x cubed, plus 2x squared, plus x plus 9. So this is a quartic polynomial because there's a 4 there. So it's a polynomial of degree 4. The leading term, we often call this one the leading term, would be minus 3x to the 4th. The number out front, uh, we used to call that the literal coefficient. Uh, not literal, the numerical coefficient. And this we used to call the literal coefficient. But uh, now we just refer to this as the coefficient out front. Okay, and then here's a term, there's a term, there's a term, and there's a term. Okay, so now that we've seen how to identify them, how to order them, uh, now we need to add and subtract them. When we add and subtract polynomials, uh, we can only add or subtract like terms. To be a like term, it has to have the same uh, letters and the same exponents. So for example, in this question, I've got 2xy squared. So there's an xy squared, and here's an xy squared. So because I'm adding, I could add those two. And what I do is I add or subtract the coefficients of those two. So I have a positive 2 and a negative 1. So that would wind up with be, being a 1xy squared. Okay, now let's look to see if I have a match for that one. Sure enough, right there. So down 4, lose another 5, so that would be down 9x squared y. Uh, xy's and xy's down 2, gain 8, so it would be up 6xy's. And then finally, I have a constant term there and there. 6 plus 4 is 10. So adding fairly straightforward. If I have a subtraction in uh, uh, the polynomial, uh, that is what I typically call a dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking negative, just because students always mess that up. And what you have to do is you have to apply that negative sign to every term in the expression, and then you can collect like terms. So let's, let's do that. So first, let's drop the brackets. So 2xy squared minus 4x squared y minus 2xy. This one stays the same. But then this next one will become a positive xy squared, a positive 5x squared y, a negative 8xy, and a negative 4. Now I can collect like terms. There's an xy squared, so is there 2 plus 1. So that would be 3xy squared. And then I have an x squared y, an x squared y. Down 4, gain 5, so I'd be up 1x squared y. Then I have a minus 2xy, a minus 8xy, that'd be a minus 10xy. And finally, I have 6, take away 4, would be plus 2. So that would be the simplification of that one.
Okay, so uh, press pause, try these on your own, and then press play and see how you do. I'm going to drop brackets, fifth minus 2x cubed minus 9xy plus 8 plus 2x cubed minus 5x to the fifth plus 2x squared minus 4. So x to the fifth or highest degree, there's one, there's one. So that'll be minus 18x to the fifth. So those are gone. Uh, there's no x to the fourth, so x cubed, here's one, here's one. One's minus, one's positive, so they cancel. And then here's an x squared, so it'll be plus 2x squared. So that's gone. And these ones are gone. And then there's a minus 9xy. Okay, that one's gone. And then lastly, I have 8 take away 4 would be a positive 4. That's what I would get uh, on the next one. Let's see that one. Let's drop the brackets. Some people try and do those in their head. Uh, but I find that if I do that, I get mixed up. So I like to drop the brackets and apply the negative sign. So it would be negative x cubed minus 2xy plus 4. Okay. And now um, collect like terms. These two would be uh, 1x cubed. And then this one, take away this one, would be plus 7xy. And uh, minus 8 plus 4 is a negative 4. Okay, so that would be the answer for that. Hopefully you did all okay with that one. At uh, some multiplying. Whenever you're multiplying polynomials, uh, you always want to think uh, S, N, and L. So S stands for the sign. Is it going to be positive or negative? N stands for the number. So you multiply numbers. What do you get from that? And then L stands for the letters. And also you want to remember uh, your dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking negatives. So make sure you don't mess up with that. This first one is just a straightforward distributive property. I'm going to multiply the 5x by both things inside the brackets. So what sign it'll be, positive times positive is positive, which I don't need to write, but I'll put it in. Number, 5 times 2 is 10. Letters, x times x would be x squared. Okay, and then let's do this part. So 5xy times minus y. Sign first, positive times negative is a negative. 5 times 1 would be 5. And then x times y would just be xy. All right, let's try this one here. So I'm going to multiply... Uh, this times that, so sign, uh, it'll be negative, number, 2 times 3 is 6, m times m, m squared. Okay, let's do this one. Minus times minus is a positive, 2 times 5 is 10, and there's an m. Then let's do this one, Four or positive times positive is positive, 4 times 3 is 12, and nothing, there'll just be an m there. And lastly, this one. Positive times negative is a negative. 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, now we can collect like terms. There's nobody to collect with that. These two are the same, so it'll be plus 22m minus 20. Okay, here's another one at the bottom. Actually, why don't you do that one on your own? There's that one. You'd try it on your own. Press pause and uh, do it, and then press play to see what you come up with. So, It'll be x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x. And then negative 4x squared plus 12x plus 20. Collecting like terms, I'd have x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x plus 20. I think that's right. Good. Okay, so in this video, we just look quickly at recognizing polynomials. We did some adding and subtracting and finally finished up with multiplying. One thing I forgot to tell you is that picture on the first slide is a picture of um, uh, the MD Park in Tabor. That might uh, help you on your quiz.